Welcome guys, I've been wanting to do this tutorial for a long time. So I'm really excited to share with you the process of how I made this from a sphere to this. So let's begin. Starting off with a sphere, extending the unmasked area in the side view for the jaw with the move brush. Hair is narrower in front and wider at the back. Adding a cylinder for the neck. With the move brush, I'm attaching the neck muscle, the trapezius, to its origin, the occipital bone of the cranium. Then I'm gonna extend this unmasked part for the shoulder area. Now join the head and the neck and then voxel remesh at around 65-ish resolution. Then brush over the whole thing with the smooth brush. Here I'm indicating the area between the trapezius and sternocleidomastoid, mastoid and also the pit of the neck with the clay brush. Now I'm defining the sternocleidomastoid and the jawline with the crease brush. Adding some volume for the trapezius. I'm working more on the neck area at this stage, so I can focus on the face and its features during the blocking stage. I'm flattening a sphere with the gizmo tool for the ear. Now voxel remeshing the ear and masking this area. Now I'm adding volume like this with the inflate brush and mirror it to the other side. The transition near the corner of the jaw is a bit smoother. Taking out some volume from this area with the clay brush to create a general base for the brow ridge and cheekbone. Adding the zygomatic arch with the clay brush. Then adding this volume with the move brush and mask tool for the nose. The position of the ears are very important. Adding volume for the chin, the muzzle of the mouth and the superciliary arches with the clay brush. Creating the lips with the crease brush. These volumes next to the corner of the lip are very important. So I'm adding them. Defining the philtrum area. Adding volume for the eyes with the clay brush. Adding more definition to the cheekbone and the frontal bone. Making the lower lip a bit thicker. Adding frown lines with the crease brush. And now the nasolabial fold. Now I'm gonna add more resolution by voxel remeshing. Now that I have more resolution, I can clean up and define some of the areas. Adding the nostril with the crease brush. I change the matte caps from time to time to see and understand the forms in different lighting. So from here on, you will see me changing matte caps. Adding the upper and lower eyelid with the clay brush and sharpening them with the crease brush. Here, some volume is needed for the eye cover fold and tear bags. Now, for the eyeballs, I'm adding a sphere and positioning it right here. Extra mode is very useful for this. Now, with the stamp brush and this alpha, I'm adding the convex shaped iris and then mirror it to the other side. Now I'm tweaking the shape of the nose from profile view. 
clearly separating the forms of the nostril wings and the ball of the nose. This is where the lateral cartilages meet the alar cartilage, defining the bridge of the nose. Adding this line to indicate and separate the helix from the anti-helix, it looks a lot like a question mark. Inflate brush is perfect for creating lines that are not too sharp but deep, which is what I want to use here. Now I'm creating this depressed area for concha, reinforcing this area with a brush I've created. It's slightly different than the crease brush. I'm gonna make a tutorial on this later. Adding some volume at the back area. Adding more volume for the tragus. I'm smoothing out some areas here and there. Now I'm reinforcing and fixing some of the areas. Like this pillar of the mouth, volume, adding details to the lower lip and defining the sternal head of the sternocleidomastoid. Now I'm adding more volume for the thyroid cartilage and the, the one below it is called the cricoid cartilage. Now I'm cloning the head and then decimate it so that I can import it to Blender for manual retopo. Here in Blender, I spent about two hours doing the retopology. I will discuss the whole process at length in a separate video. So after that, here I have the retopo mesh. I will export this as OBJ and bring it back in Nomad. I'm going to rename it. Unwrap the UV. And make sure the retopologized low poly mesh is selected last. Also, make sure this is checked. This is super important. Now, just reproject from high res. And that's how you can reproject high poly details on a clean mesh. From here, I'm just gonna subdivide and repeat the whole process again a few times. Now I'll introduce some large but subtle surface noise to break up the evenness of the skin in order to make it look more natural. Then I'm adding directional skin lines to areas like mouth, forehead, under the eyes, near the wing of the nose, etc. Then I'm applying pore details using this brush. I learned this from Jay Hill and Chris Costa's tutorial. Both are amazing artists. You should check them out. Next, I'm adding fine surface noise. Adding more pores I handmade, adding clogged pores and some general pores on the ball of the nose. Next I'm adding some wrinkles with the brush I made. I'm using tons of references and finally adding some skin bumps here and there. I hope you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more tutorials like this and I will see you in the next video.